Hi, welcome to the Happy Haven video blog. My name is Anna Simon. I'm owner of Happy Haven Group Fitness and Wellness located in Elko, New Market, Minnesota, but try to venture out on the inter internet and offer um, as much as I can virtually as I do in person. Today, I'd like to talk with you about the missing link for health. We're all talking about the New Year's resolutions and our goal for the new year, which I think is a good thing because it is a fresh start. It's an opportunity to reevaluate how our last year went and look at what we want to do forward. Any successful person says it is all about setting goals, both, both personally, in business, whatever it might be. Goal setting is what helps get you to the next place because then you have an idea of where you want to go. So I do feel that resolutions are important, uh, but you have to be serious about it and really know what you want. So there's a missing link to health and I want to share it with you. I don't think it's going to be something that you expect. We all talk about the nutrition and we know that eating healthier is going to make us uh, you know, feel better, lose weight, help with sensitivities, whatever it might be. And then exercising, which is important, they, they, uh, everything is, um, is necessary as well, but I'm not talking about either of those. The missing link is being aware of the pace that you've chosen in life. And so I spent over a year working strictly with health coaching and I was helping people with their nutrition, eating healthier. And what I found was it was so awesome and rewarding, rewarding and humbling to be able to help make changes in a person's life, help them to lose weight, decrease need for medication, to live with more energy, sleep better. But a lot of times clients would struggle because their schedules were so full. And one of the most common things, if I had a nickel for every time I've heard this, I don't have time to cook. All right, there are times that I feel that way too, that is for sure. But what it comes down to is that in a way that's sort of a priority in life. If we want to be healthy, um, cooking at home is a necessity. So that's when you need to stop and say, all right, if I don't have time to cook, you know, where, where do my priorities lie? And I really think that life is really about knowing your priority, your priorities and being able to reprioritize. So when you are looking at your schedule and you're like, oh, this, this year I'm going to start working out three times a week and eating healthy and cooking more at home. That is awesome. Do that. But what's going to have to be taken off of your plate in order to fit that in? We can't expect that you're just going to add that to your already busy life. So it comes back to making the choice of the pace that you want your life to be going. Do you want to be taking the back road, enjoying the scenery, and being able to really embrace all of the things that you're working on and um, the gifts that God has given us every day? Or do you choose to be in the fast lane or next to the fast lane, flicking off the guy in the left lane because he's going too slow in the fast lane? The choice is yours. But when you're looking at your New Year's resolutions and all of the things that you want to accomplish for this year to become a better person, healthier person, happier person, don't feel like you need to take everything on. We can't have everything be a priority. So now reevaluate and decide what it is that is going to become a priority and what's um, either going to go on the back burner or be deleted from your life completely. Give yourself the grace and the freedom to take life slower, to really enjoy it. Um, to live with less stress. One more thing about stress is that, um, I mean, not only like we're busy and we just can't accomplish everything, but chronic stress does lead to disease. So you can't be fully happy and healthy until you can reduce the stress in your life. I know this personally. Um, in, in Over the last few years that I started my own business, I put a lot of pressure on myself. And before I knew it, I uh, was breaking out in acne. I had gained some weight. Um, I was having more anxiety, I um, had heart palpitations. The last final straw was that I broke out in a stress rash. And um, so lesson learned that stress does not only cause mental issues, but it causes huge physical. And chronic stress that us Americans are dealing with because we put so much pressure on ourselves to work and to support our children's and multiple children in multiple activities and ourselves in our own activities and we can't fit it in all, all in in 24 hours. Figure it out and decide that you're going to live with less stress because you will not be fully healthy or fully happy until you make the choice to do that. I know it's not easy. It's going against the grain. It's being different than other people. And um, you're trying to slow down when they're trying to speed up. But just make the choice for yourself. Be true to who you are. Enjoy your life. It's, it's a gift from God. It's not something that we have to work to the ground. 
all God wants for us is to be healthy or be happy and do good in our life. Um, so take that into account when you are setting your resolutions and your goals for this year. If you want any help with this, um, I'm a personal and group wellness coach. I'd be happy to help you. You can check out happyhaven.com. We also have amazing group fitness, which is a very supportive and positive environment um, of people that we would love to have you if you're in the Elkwood Market area. But either way, um, subscribe to this video blog and we'll see you again soon. Thanks.